Yeah, <laughs> what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. Beautiful day out here in dirty Jersey, as you can see. We got blue skies, clear skies. It is a beautiful Sunday morning. Figure I uh, get on the bike and do this quick little video before I head out to the beach. So, spending the day at the beach with the family. Gonna enjoy the beautiful weather. It's gonna be going up to maybe like 75, I think, today. Maybe even a little higher. So, not too crazy. Get from this 2020 Harley Davidson Lowrider Rest. Love this bike. Now, uh, if you are new to my channel, let me just tell you a little bit about myself, this bike, and what's going on. Um, if you're a returning viewer, then welcome back. Uh, so let's just touch base on this. I'm about to have two years with this bike uh, in September coming up. Um, I bought this bike right when Harley Davidson released it and I fell in love with it I've had basically no issues with the bike and we are at around 6300 miles um I do I do gotta get a service though right now and that, that's what I'm I haven't gone I haven't had the chance to go take it to get service I've been on the diner a lot lately um I also do have a 2015 diner lowrider as well so um, a lot of going back and forth now within this time period of me having this bike um, there has been a lot of upgrades and we'll go over the upgrades right now and then afterwards we'll go over everything else that I'm planning on doing to this bike like this little area right here right by the water Let's just start going over everything that I've done to the bike so far, right? So, we'll start from the front. I have the um, Memphis Shades Road Warrior. And this is an 11 inch. I always get that question asked a lot. 11 inches for that, okay? Uh, right in the front, we got the Moons MC Highlight. I love that thing. Um, it definitely brightens everything up at night. Uh, working our way to the bars and the risers. I have these 8 inch San Jose Customs uh, riser bars, which if you're interested in getting one of those risers, I have a discount code for you so you can save yourself some cash, some hard earned cash. Things are really nice, very good quality stuff. Um, uh, I've had a lot of people already purchase them and they tell me that they're really happy about them. They also do come in different colors, uh, red, gold, blue, um, silver, so pretty good stuff. Um, yes, I did have to change cables. So anything above six inches, guys, you're gonna have to change cables. And that ran me around $800 at Harley Davidson. Um, I mean, I wanted it just professionally done and I didn't mind just paying the cash. So I stopped um, Over here. We got some, some smoked lenses here uh, For your turn signals and then they're also LEDs um, Then we got the brake levers you saw from uh, Where these from lucky speed shop pretty cool stuff um, They also do come in uh, a variant of different colors and different ones. I got the trigger uh, levers as well I like the these I thought and they like basically match up perfectly with the wheels, which is a plus um, What is that? Okay um, Grips we got these black with the bronze tip. They're like bronze goldish um, Tips right here These are from um, Arlen S. So these are these are really good. I love these grips I have a really good grip to it. They don't feel too big You know, sometimes you buy grips and they just feel huge and they're uncomfortable um, So you don't get that feeling with these um, working our way down. Oh, let's go right here because I always get this question asked a lot too. Where did I get the black rings from? I got these from Harley Davidson and they're $75 a piece. So $75, $75, but it does change the whole dynamic of the bike right here. I love the way it looks. I like 
the whole blacked out look um, I'm gonna go change these bolts out um, also get them in black um, just to give it that nice little you know clean cleaner look uh, working our way down we got the SNS and um, teardrop this is the bigger one they have the smaller ones and I was initially gonna buy the smaller one and I ordered the wrong one but I honestly like it I like the way it looks um, I think it looks great and th this teardrop um, air cleaner is just so iconic and such a classic look um, so that's that um, going in to the front we got the bunk king crash bar in the front I love this thing absolutely love it I always get another question asked about this part um, do I have any issues leaning it over and you know getting real aggressive no I've never had any issues whatsoever as you can see here this comes way up higher than your exhaust so the first thing that you know kind of scrapes most of the time is obviously going to be your foot pegs um, and as you can see here the foot bag is still a bit under uh, the bar so no you're not going to have any issues they do make different ones where they got like the taller up here so if that's what you want then you know awesome now for foot pegs we got the flow foot pegs right here these things are great probably one of the best um foot pegs on the market they're gonna give you that really really good grip that you're gonna want um to not have your foot slipping over the place um i kind of regret not getting the mini boards just because I, the mini boards would have been a bit wider and a bit more comfortable i don't have the biggest feet in the world either so they're not bad but if i had to do it again i would get the mini boards um but these are great all right so the exhaust i got the uh tbr all blacked out um think about if you're gonna get the black look or not because at first i was like you know i want everything black but as you can see as time goes by this part right here starts changing color and the reason you see that's because it has no heat shield cover right there right uh most pipes come with heat shield covers where they cover everything these just have this part right here and as time goes by this is going to get a bit more redder and kind of uglyish so yes i might be changing out the exhaust later on that's well wait a few minutes we'll get into that discussion in a few um right here we got the torque mini saddlebags um these things are great um not the biggest space you're gonna have but you could fit a six pack in there and if you're gonna be you know cruising around town or going to work and bringing a few little things they're great for that you could throw a bunch of little stuff in there gloves you could put a few shirts in there change of clothes um, or you put some beer <laughs> whatever you want um, these things are great oh so now that we're talking about that I also got the uh, the torque uh, bar bag up here this thing is great I love that you also fit a bunch of stuff in there um, I use, mainly use like my wallet my phone my keys uh, and a few things that I put in there some peanuts gotta have some peanuts man all right so making our way through the back we have the laid down play holder which is from karyakin i think it was karyakin play holder um pretty simple makes the bike and cleans everything up in the back um in the back we got the moon's mc rear light this also comes with the turn signals integrated in it very important because i got rid of my rear turn signals as you can see here i just wanted that cleaner look in the back uh, for the fender especially when I don't have the bags on um, this definitely just cleans everything up um, and that's pretty uh, um, pretty much it uh, tuner I use the uh, Harley Davidson screaming Eagle tuner I'm pretty happy with it I have no complaints about it um, this bike is a monster already um, so no issues with that what else have I done? What else have I done? I always, I always like miss one or two things. I think it's, oh, well, you see, there we go. We got the Saddleman Step Up Seat. This thing is amazing. Um, it's finally like fully broken in and it feels great. It, it doesn't have that real stiff um, touch anymore. Like it's just, it fits perfectly and it holds you in place because this bike is a torque monster and it will launch you off. Um, so this definitely helps you keep, um, keep you on there and it gives you some pretty good uh can we call it lumbar support i guess <laughs> uh, that lower back is gonna is, you're gonna be comfortable on there this also has the extra gel padding for the passenger but my wife has never been on this bike so that was a 45 dollar waste right there but yeah <laughs> if not you don't have to get that um these seats also do come custom so you can talk to them and get different stitching on them different colors so that's pretty cool uh we got the thrash and supply fuck you right here um that little seat bolt nut holder 
that's pretty cool i think that's pretty much gonna be it guys so let's start going over everything that i still need to do to this bike so we'll start with the front oh front and rear because i want to get the lindo brakes for this uh bike but i want the black ones because we got bronze and i don't want gold and i hate the whole mixture of different golds and bronzes and all just a bunch of different golds everywhere i hate that um so i want to keep the wheels obviously the same color that is the low rider s original look and i don't want to change that you know i'm painting black no no, no. i want to keep these same wheels same color i want to change the rotors to the black lindo rotor brakes so things are amazing um so we're doing that that's gonna be first the fxrp fairing that's been sitting in my garage for quite a f maybe a month right now um that's gonna go on as well so i got the fxrp fairing i just gotta get the uh, bracket to install it on it and then it's uh it's game on after that so we're gonna be changing that out i do have a road warrior on the dyna so i'm not gonna be missing that look and i'm gonna get it painted as well so that's gonna be pretty cool um uh, make it our way to the back oh uh, i spoke about the exhaust before yes i might be changing out the exhaust later on and what i really want is a nice little exhaust that cost a lot a lot of money but um yeah i might get it so i want the hbi the hbi sounds great it looks great um definitely has that bronze look to it as well so it's gonna make everything pop out um that thing is sick it's just super pricey so later on this year hopefully we get that done um stage two stage two i've been going back and forth and i'm like do i really want to stage two yes but honestly that gas consumption to me makes me think like eh, for those longer rides uh, i don't know i i really don't know if i want to change out and make that move because i don't want to be like worrying about that gas tank just going down going down going down going down and the way my friends and i ride it's very aggressive and that gas will go like that so that's something that's still on the fence yes i do want it but then i'm like eh. so i don't know if some of you guys have gotten it done what are your thoughts i want to get your feedback drop your thoughts down below um do you regret doing it um you know, the pros and cons of it let it let it all know down below um what else what else what are we going to do i don't know if that's pretty much it what else it's those three things it's basically the rotors the fxrp the exhaust oh and the stage two so four four big things probably the most expensive things and that's why like i kind of waited to the end <laughs> um but th these are things that they're gonna come very slow like oh uh, i might change the derby cover just i just want to find something really cool and change this derby cover but there's like little minor minute things um, the shift linkage as well. I want to change out later on. Get something black in there, or or brownish. Um, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, there's one more thing. The um, I want to get the matching pegs for the bunking crash bars, but for the back. So the back passenger pegs and that acts as protection as well, which is a super plus. So that might be the next thing I might get, honestly. Um, well, the next thing we're going to do is just put the FXRP fairing. And then I'm going to get the the back um, the back bars right there and then work our way out through the exhaust and the stage two and everything else. And for now, that's what I have planned. Um, and like, I don't know, like, I, I really don't want to transform this bike into something crazy and not make it look like what it is. I'm, I'm not into that. Some people get these bikes and they just change the whole dynamics and looks of it. And it's just like, nah, like I, I want to keep it looking somewhat original as well. Um, talking about that, I don't know if I mentioned it. Like, I, I might have, I might have not, but i was originally supposed to get a custom paint job on this bike uh maybe back in january right and that paint job was gonna run me four thousand dollars around that time my wife and i decided that we should renovate both bathrooms in the house so it was either i spent four thousand dollars on a custom paint job and getting killed over it <laughs> or i renovate my both bathrooms and bring up my property value and have everything nice the way we want it to look so i did the mature decision i i renovated my bathrooms <laughs> um the custom paint job um will i get it maybe a year or two from now maybe 
I just, you know what, like, and you hear a lot of people talking about, oh, like, yeah, it's a black Harley Davidson bike. Most most bikes are black. But for this bike, is like a low rider S that's black and bronze or black and gold, whatever you want to call it. It's just the original, original flavor, man. And I don't know if I want to change that flavor now. You know, it's just a classic look. Let's open her up real quick. <laughs> and that's why I love this bike. Uh, she gets up to 90 and 100, like, a few seconds. Um, but, yeah, um, I don't know. Uh, I really don't know if, if I'm going to do that. Unless I got another bike, and then I might be, you know, do a custom paint job on that. So, with that being said, these few things I still want to do to this bike are going to come very slow, guys. I'm not rich. I'm not going to go out and get everything at one time. <coughs> Say, uh, Sal. <coughs> Sal. <laughs> my boy Sal got this bike not so long ago he just put in a ton of work man on it bike looks amazing so we're uh, definitely gonna show that up on there you guys might have seen his video before if you are a returning viewer he was on with the street glide um, with the gold window brakes on it and a bunch of amazing parts that he put on it so we might do a video and do like a little ride together a little low rider s ride um, but yeah, like uh, I'm not made of money, guys, and this YouTube channel does not generate a bunch of money. Woo! <laughs> um, so yeah, it, it, it's gonna come slow, but little by little, I'm gonna get all those parts on it, and that's something that we tell people: like, take your time, because sometimes when you, you know, rush to put all these parts on and everything, you just you're not thinking straight, and then you might end up spending a lot of money on these expensive parts and then you're gonna want to change them out because for some reason you didn't do your research on them or they don't you know, look as good so take your time build out your bike the way you really truly want it to be and if there's something that's really expensive then save up for it and then eventually you'll get it instead of going with the cheaper option that you know in the long run you're gonna have to take off and yeah that's extra money right there that you spent um, so that's just a little tip of advice if you're, you know, new to the riding community and you just got this bike and you want to, you know, be a little taste on it. That's just some advice for you. Take it with a grain of salt. Um, I think that's pretty much going to be it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to catch you in the next one. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, by the way, uh, this Wednesday, there is a bike night, my local bike night. Um, they're basically, to, they've been doing it for a little while, but today's going to be the first night where they're going to really launch it for the season right now. And it starts off with like a classic uh, bike show. So all these people, you know, they bring their old classic bikes and then that kicks everything off. And then throughout the whole summer, that's like the go-to spot. So if you're in the Jersey area or in New York area, if you want to make the trip out to Jersey, we're going to be at Ruts Hut this Wednesday come by have a drink there's gonna be food and drinks and everything and just good vibes man so stop by say what's up and i'm gonna catch you on the next one guys like always let the force be with you ride safe and enjoy the ride baby peace